You're watching Drake Queen Gaming. Enjoy the video. Hey guys and gals, and every here from Drake Wayne Gaming, a sub you mounts, what are the gaming drag? Today I'm coming back at you with another Let's Play episode of Light My Way. So y'all, let's go ahead and jump right back into it. I'll save the Patreon stuff for the end of the video. Anyway, Alarm Chain, you are up, and let's go. Alright. <clears throat> Lucien Volpez, I remember you with those sunglasses, actually. The one who complained about the roommate on day one, right? <laughs> I'm Kieran Cliffs. I don't need help, but if you want to join me on a walk, that's okay too. I nod as we finish picking up the folders and start walking. Where are you heading so early in the morning? This entire pile of folders here is for each class from the sports wing for next week. That's just for next week? It's for the elites. Everyone else gets their schedules from their from their classmaster or from the Tyranon app. Why don't they go through the classmasters during classes then? It seems unnecessary to hand out folders to each individual elite. It's actually quite important. There is a different rating system for elites. The council changes their practice intensity based on the results they have after each week. If they're doing great, they are pushed harder. If they're slacking off, they are given less demanding challenges. So I need to deliver updated schedules on a weekly basis. Isn't that counterintuitive? I mean, about the slackers. Why wouldn't they push them harder? When you are an elite and you get offered low-level routines, be it in mathematics or tennis, you should feel like a failure or you will embrace it, continue slacking off, and lose your elite status. Once gone, you can't get back in. That's tough. They all knew what they signed up for. The council pushes each student to reach their full potential. Ooh, excuse me. It's a good system. I notice his light. Although it's almost clear, I can see it better now. And it's better now that we're walking in silence. It's plain. He's the first folk I've seen that is close to normal, if normal is a thing anyway. No shine, no shimmer, no circles, spikes, anything. It's a contour of his body like a shallow, watery, invisible ink. I know he is a light, but it's transparent and quite peculiar, but I also feel like I could not wear my gla my sunglasses around him. What a dream. So, what do you do with the folders? Do you knock on each door within, in the arch? Oh, no. Each elite has a post box for this. Once we're, once we're there, you'll see the names of each elite in the main hall. You can put a few folders in as well if you'd like. I'm supposed to do that, but I have a feeling you'll do just fine. I almost knocked you over, and you trust me to hand out elite folders? If you mess up the name, they'll change it between themselves, so no need to worry. They also get this folder through the Tyranon Elite app. They get it in paper form, too, because of legal reasons. Alright, seems easy enough anyway. I just have to match the name on the folder with the one on the post box. Got it. The sports wing should be where Atlas is, but I'm sure he's not awake right now. Karen shows me how he puts in the folders and I follow suit. I go ahead and slip in each file through the tiny slits of the post boxes, checking each name to be sure I don't mess up. Fabian Genera. Haven't seen him in a while. Kieran. Now oh, this folder isn't going in. Killed it. Oh, sorry. Let me do that again. Uh, Kieran? This folder isn't going in. The student must have left his previous folders in there and used his app. But it's odd that his box is so full. I'll go ask if I can get the master key to clean it up. Thank you. Walter time. Oh, God. Oh, this hits the spot. I got really, really high last night and watched a bunch of episodes of uh, What We Do in the Shadows. That's such a damn good show. Anyway, I know who this is. Uh, he's a friend. It's not surprising he left such a mess. The wolf pulls out his tablet and starts tapping. What's going on with Fabian? Uh, Darius isn't, hasn't mentioned him these past few weeks, and it's been a while since I've last seen him. Someone will come here with a master key and open his box so we can clean it up. Shouldn't you get ready for your class, though? I need to head out, yeah. I hope I made up for my absent-mindedness from earlier today. Yes. Excuse me. You have. Most people ignore me anyway. You're one of the first who offered to help me. That's... Don't worry about it. It's one of my duties, and I don't expect anyone else to do it for me. Can I take this folder to my friend? I don't know if that's legal or whatever. I'm supposed to put it in the mailbox, but if you know him... I do. He's on the Elite Cycling Team. The wolf puts a fake, inquisitive look on for a second, then switches back to his easygoing smile. Sure, I mean, it's not like he didn't get his schedule from his app. I need you to sign this form so that I don't get in trouble if it comes to it. Nothing to worry about, but bureaucracy demands it. <sighs> I scribble my signature on a tablet form on a tablet form on tablet on a tablet form after skimming the text. This wolf is nice, but so plain. Nothing gets to him either way, good or bad. Before leaving the big hall, I turn around and see Kieran and an elder elephant opens Fabian's post box. 
Several folders fall out, spreading across the floor. I find the rabbit's name on the ground floor list a list at Arch 4 and walk up to his room. I knock a few times, but he's not answering. Fabian? Are you in there? I, I have something for you. No movement. It's from the school council. Your folder for the week. The door cracks open. He's supporting himself with each hand on the door and the wall. What's with this light? It's as if he's losing it. Like he's uncharged. But if he were, by some astronomical coincidence like me, I would somehow sense it, I think. What am I even rambling on about? He's a ghost at this point. No wonder his light's faded. Yo. I brought your I brought your I brought you your folder for next week. How'd you get that? Uh, long story. What's going on with you? You don't look so good. You think? The rabbit points to his swollen ankles. He's got anti-inflammatory knee pads on as well. It's a rough sight. It looks terrible. Have you been to the medical center? How do you think I got the knee pads? Sorry. It gave me the folder and buzz off. I wanted to check up on you as well. You checked. Now leave. The rabbit grabs my paw and snatches the folder. I turn to leave, the door slamming in my face, almost smashing my tail in. What a prick! One second, y'all. Water time. Alright, y'all, and we are back. <clears throat> After I take a few steps towards the exit, it hits me. He's overwhelmed by everything. That has to be it. His light is dim and more hectic than usual, which is saying something. This is not the time to leave him alone. I turn around and stand in front of the door for a second. Fabian, I'm going to stay here a while in case you need anything. No reply. I also don't want to annoy him more, so it should be okay if I hang out here for ten minutes or so. I might as well study up on my next class. Aww. While reading through my book, I hear Fabian slump to the floor on the other side of the door. His swollen ankles don't leave room for him to bend without hurting, I guess. I don't get why he has to be such an asshole, though. It's not like I'm trying to mess with him. I'm trying to help. He can be such a pain to deal with sometimes. I see the ruby red light from under the door, a soft pulse, but brighter than ten minutes ago. He's getting better, it seems. I need to go back to class now. Do you want to uh, drop by sometime? Whenever you're in the mood. Uh, Darius isn't doing that great, you know. I caught him asleep with a book in his paws at his desk. Again, no answer. At least I know he's doing better, judging by the brightness that's coming from under the door. Better leave since I need to cover some distance. Foxy? Yes? See you soon. See ya. See ya. I leave, smiling and thinking he's at least in better spirits now. There's a blinding amber light illuminating the stairway as I walk towards it. it. Must be Atlas. I turn around and start running, looking for another exit. The light fades away. A tiger must live must live above Fabian somewhere. I should have thought about this. They're both e excuse me. They're both elites in the sports arch. I grab my phone from my pocket and check what the vibrating is about. Shoot! I forgot about my appointment at the infirmary. It's today. This is bad. I need to be there in less than 15 minutes. Huh. It doesn't take long to get called in once I reach the infirmary, although I'm gasping for air from all the running I did. The waiting room has plenty of patients, but things are moving fast. Tier 9 University working as intended. There's a nurse, and I assume a member of the teacher's council inside. Good morning, Mr. Volpez. Catherine Refulgence. Jesus Christ, what a name. I'm Catherine Refulgence, one of the officials at the T one of the officials of the Teachers Council and also the headmistress here at the university. Your parents have notified the school of your issue. I am here to oversee your appointment and find a possible solution to your problem. Uh, good morning. Uh, thank you for the opportunity for this test. I'm polite about this, although it irks me to go through yet another we don't know what's wrong with your eyes test, but they're they're offering it, and it wouldn't be rude to decline since my parents already set this up for me. We go through the same old motions I know all too well. Take my sunglasses off and ask them to turn down the lights. The nurse does that, but as usual, that's not helping one bit since that's not the actual problem. We're three folk in this exam room and I don't have my glasses on. That's enough light to give me a headache for weeks. I try squinting my eyes and although it, it's almost pitch black inside the room, I can't keep them open for longer than a few seconds. Are you alright, Mr. Volpez? No, I'm not. I have a strong sensitivity to light, as my parents must have mentioned it's difficult for me to keep my eyes open without my sunglasses. But there's almost no light in here. What a waste of time. I have better things to do right now. I'm sorry, but I'm getting a headache. Can, can we end the test? Put my glasses back on and look at the nurse. Can I have some pain relievers and go? How can you even see through those glasses now? The panther stares me down, curious, but annoyed at my reflex to grab my, my sunglasses. Let's try this again. Can you please take off your sunglasses one more time? 
I'm going to tap a hole with my claw into this chair if we don't finish up soon. It's useless to bother with this. But the panther smiles at me, motioning to take off my sunglasses. Fine. I mean, she is trying to help. Of course. Why are the lights fading away? Well, what's going on? Can you look through the scope and tell me what you see? I'm panicking out of my mind. Chills are going down my spine as I can see without a shadow of a doubt no light around this mist of refulgence. None. Zero. All I see is in the infirmary are lights of the two folk. Mine and the nurse, or, or was it three at first? Can she turn it off and on? What's the deal with this panther? I, uh, I, I'm babbling. My thoughts are racing. I clutch at my chest like my heart's going to leap out. The panic attack is almost here, judging by the deep breaths I'm gasping in. This panther's scaring the shit out of me. She leans towards me to adjust the measuring scope for my snout, making me jump back looking at her in horror. Kieran had a transparent light of sorts, but this Catherine Refulgence? There's nothing around her. I can look at her without my glasses. The nurse's light is also dimmed as if it was adjusted for me to be at a comfortable intensity. And did I startle you? I'm sorry about that. Nurse, can you go to my office and prepare some tea for Mr. Volpez and water for myself? We need to have a longer chat after the examination is over. The nurse leaves and I find myself alone with the panther. My throat and mouth are dry and I get a hold of my voice enough to squeak out a few words. What are you? Excuse me, as you can very well see, I'm a panther. That's quite rude of you, Mr. Volpez. That's the thing. I can see well. Too well. Like there's nothing wrong with my eyes. Why don't you have a light? A an aura? A something? The panther turns her head and I see a smile at the corner of her mouth. Aura is such a pre-unification term. It's called an aspect. Fuck! Fuck, fuck, fuck! She heard my exact words and she replied too. D did you hear what I just said? Was my answer not proof enough of that, Mr. Volpez? Let's go to my office and have a talk. The tea should be warm by the time we get there. I put on my sunglasses again and follow the panther out the door, dazed and confused. My mind is shattered into pieces, replaying the last few minutes second by second. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, that's animated. What? Oh, that's cool. There you go. Water time. Her office is fancy. It's more like a study room with how many bookcases there are here. There's some weird-looking gadgets on the shelves on the opposite side and a big painting on the wall behind her above her desk. Whoa, the paintings are moving! I heard that they were developing this at Tyranon. I didn't think I would get to see it so soon. Incredible. I need to stop staring and get my shit together. But who's in the big painting anyway? It's a portrait of an elderly panther from what I gather. No idea who this is or who this who that is or was. Maybe some headmistress from many seasons ago? Have a seat. Thank you. I'm able to gather my thoughts a little after that walk. You want to know why I could hear what you said about the aspects? A nod in agreement. Cohesive words still failing to come to mind, to, uh, to my mind to form a proper response. The panther pushes a cup of tea toward me, pointing to a jar of honey. I sweeten my tea and take a sip. It's lukewarm and tasty as well, with the scent of vanilla. I can understand your distress. However, you need to answer at some point. I apologize for my previous reaction. You caught me by surprise. Up to now, I wasn't able to talk to anyone about this. Yes, that is the equalizer at work. Before I can ask what that is, she starts explaining. And nobody knows what the equalizer is or why it stops us from talking about the aspects. We can talk to anyone with the knowledge of aspects, but no one else. Writing, recording your own voice, everything gets jumbled up. You've tried it too, I assume. Alright y'all, I'm going to go ahead and pause it right there. Thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell, and check out our Patreon if you can. It always helps. Anyway, I love you all, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye!